Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm back with another Atlantic League game with our Chicago White Sox. I've got the standings up on the board currently. So as you can see, we're 76 and 75, one game above 500. Third place in the AL Central and nine games back. So not I'm not an authority on the playoffs at this point. Uh, particular uh, era of baseball, but it does not look like we would qualify because you've got three teams up in the East. It, really, you got every team up in the East with a better record than us. So um, uh, I would have to believe that the wild cards would come from there. So anyway, that having been said, we need to get on with this. Let's take a look at the schedule. Uh, Let's see here. Lee, let's see. There we go. So today we are going to play the California Angels and we're going up against Chuck Finley. We're going to have Alex Fernandez, our ace, going up against Chuck Finley. So we are going to play the day. Going to hit the manual. The old manual. We're going to make us the uh, human control. We're going to make them the computer. So Chuck Finley against Fernandez. Their lineup is going to be Chad Curtis leading off and the DH. Uh, Spike mm -hmm. Owen will be at third, batting second. Mike Trout will bat third. He's the center fielder. And again, this is from across different eras. So um, this is, you know, in 1994, Mike Trout did not play Major League Baseball. But... We, they did grab him from the, uh, the current day Angels, and so he's on it. And then you've got Salmon batting in the cleanup spot in right field, so you got the Fish batting three and four. Then uh, Chili Davis in left field batting fifth. Wally Joyner is the first baseman batting sixth. And then you've got Darren, I think Darren Fletcher at second base batting seventh. Bob Boone is their catcher from the uh, 80s. And the big 80s, and he's going to bat 8th. And then you got Gary DeSarcina at shortstop. For us, it's going to be the usual, you know, the usual suspects. Lance Johnson leading off, playing center field. Joey Cora batting second, uh, playing second. The big hurt, Frank Thomas at first base, batting third. Robin High Ventura playing third base and batting in the cleanup spot. Belton Bill Melton will be the DH and bat fifth. Carlton Fisk is the catcher batting sixth. Darren Jackson is going to be in right. And uh, Ozzie Guillen at shortstop batting eighth. And Tim Raines, the rock, batting ninth and playing left field. So let's get on with all of that. We are at home on a beautiful sunny day here in Chicago. And Chad Curtis leading off with a jack. So that's not a good way for us to begin allowing a run after the first batter and Spike Owen is the batter now you gotta believe he's not gonna get one but he does get a single so he's gonna hit the ball up the middle and Fernandez is off to a terrible start and then has to face Mike Trout But Mike Trout's gonna hit the ball back down to Ventura hopefully he can turn a double play and he can so uh, that was nice and then Tim Salmon and Tim Salmon is gonna fly out to left field so we do manage to get out of the inning with just the leadoff home run to Chad Curtis being the only damage done by the Angels. And now we got to go up against Chuck Finley with Lance Johnson. And Lance Johnson has just missed the double, and he's going to hit a single. So let's see if I can steal with him. Oh, I think I could tr at least try it. Let's see here. We'll say steal a base. And he goes down to 45. I'm still going to try it. I mean, what the heck, right? And he makes it. So now he's in scoring position for Joey Cora. But Joey Cora is going to hit the ball to left field or to right field. Now let's see if he can advance on that. If Johnson can advance, he can't. So Frank Hurt, the or Frank Thomas, the big hurt, the big hurt puts a big hurt on Chuck Finley and hits a home run. 
And so we've got the lead. The fireworks are going off, and we got a 2-1 lead with Robin High Ventura. And Ru, 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 <laughs> Robin High Ventura with this base hit single, and then Belton, Bill Melton from the 70s, the Sox 70s. He's going to hit a fly ball out to Trout, though, for the second out of the inning. And that will bring up Carlton Fisk. And Carlton Fisk is going to line out to the shortstop. Disarcina, but we have a 2-1 lead. Let's hope uh, Fernandez can keep us there with Chili Davis. And Chili Davis is going to line out to Cora for the first out of the Angels' second inning with Wally Joyner. And he's going to line out to Cora. So Cora busy this inning, which is going to bring up David Fletcher. All right, David Fletcher, not Darren Fletcher. David Fletcher is going to ground out to second. I think David Fletcher is a current day angel or like a very recent angel, but he wasn't on the team in 1994. Darren Jackson is going to bat against Finley, and he's going to ground out to third base. Owen throws him out, and you got Ozzy Guillen. Ozzy Guillen is going to hit a single between short and third, so he's aboard. I am not going to try to stretch that. Tim Rock Reigns is going to hit the ball down to Owen. Let's see if Owen can boof it. And he does. So <laughs> there's going to be two guys on with only one out. And Lance Johnson, the batter, and he hits a single. Can Guillen score on that? I am going to send Guillen for sure. And he does score. So we've got a 3-1 lead now. Joey Cora is the batter. And he strikes out. So Finley is in a little bit of trouble here. He's given up runs in both of the first two innings to us. Frank Bigger heard Thomas homered last time, but this time he's going to ground out to short. No such luck. So we go to the top of the third inning. Bob Boone from the Angels of the 80s, the big 80s. We all loved him. And he's out. Disarcina is up. At least I did. I don't know if anybody else out there did, but, you know, I was in my prime in, in the 80s. Chad Curtis is up with two down. He's going to hit the ball out to Guillen, who should play it. He's a sure-handed um, guy. But, no, he throws the ball in the dirt and for a two-base error. And Spike Owen is going to get a chance, but he's going to ground out to Cora, the sure-handed Cora, who has been busy this game. And we're going to the bottom of the third with a 3-1 to one lead and Ventura facing Finley. And he is going to ground out to Wally Joyner, the sure-handed first baseman. And that brings up Belton Bill Melton. And he is going to ground out to shortstop. So there's two down and Carlton Fisk. Carlton Fisk will fly out to left and that should do it for us here in the third inning. As we move along to the fourth, and uh, Fernandez still pretty sharp here, I would have to say. He gave up that leadoff home run to Chad Curtis, but he's been good since. That's a fly ball to Johnson. you got to believe that's going to be an out, and it is. Which brings up Tim Salmon, and Tim Salmon is going to hit a single right up the middle, right back through the box. He gets on, and Chili Davis is the batter, and he is going to line out. So he'll line out to um, Cora. That was a looping line out. <laughs> oh, no. And, uh, you know, we've got the scoreboard going by, and Wally Joyner is the batter. Wally Joyner with a little pop, but he strikes out here. Fernandez staying sharp here, and we go to the bottom of the fourth with our 3-1 to one lead and Darren Jackson up. And Darren Jackson's going to rip a double. Now the thing is, do I want to sacrifice him over to third. With Guillen, you know what? I'm going to do that. So let's um, let's try that. Chances are an 86% chance. And it popped up. So he didn't do it. And now Rock Reigns. And Rock Reigns is going to hit a single, but it's only going to be a one base single. Oh, wait a minute. No, it might not be. I'll send him. I don't know why. And give me the option. Usually a split single like that is only a one base. But that does extend our lead. 4-1 to one with Lance 
Johnson, the batter, and he is going to hit the ball to Fletcher into a double play. Fletcher, a sure-handed second baseman, makes the play. But we did extend our lead by three runs to a score of 4-1. to one. And David Fletcher, not a very great hitter for them, and he is going to line out to Guillen. That brings up Bob Boone. Big Bob Boone, great defensive catcher in his day, and he had his moments for hitting, but he was really more known as a great defensive catcher, and he's out. And then Gary DeSarcina is going to fly out to right field to Jackson. Jackson goes back to the wall and makes the play, and that is going to be that, as they say. We go to the bottom of the fifth. We have a four to one lead and Cora who has gotten out every single time strikes out here I wouldn't say it's a key situation but you know Frank Thomas is up and he is going to ground the ball to Disarcina who is a good shortstop he comes up with it and just got him on a sparkling play which brings up Ventura and he is going to line out so uh, he lines out to the pitcher, and Chad Curtis is the batter. Top of the sixth here. It's getting late for California to make a comeback, and that's going to be an out. Guillen makes the play easily. Spike Owen is the batter. Spike Owen is going to hit the ball to Cora. And Cora does get him, and Mike Trout is the batter. And Mike Trout. Misses a home run. It's going to be a deep fly ball to left field that Reigns is going to get under at the wall and make the play. We're going to the bottom of the sixth. We got a 4-1 to lead, and we got Belton Bill Melton up, and he's going to be hit by a pitch, but of course he's not injured because that, that dude was rock solid. Fisk is going to hit the ball to Fletcher. Let's see what he does. They pull a double play off, and Darren Jackson will be the batter. And he is going to hit the ball out to DeSarcina for an out, which will take us to the top of the seventh. Both starting pitchers still out there. Um, but Finley not quite as sharp as Alex Fernandez has been. Salmon is going to hit the ball back to Fernandez. And Fernandez throws on to Thomas for the out. Chili Davis. Chili Davis is going to hit one deep. And that's going to be another run for California. But the only runs they seem to be able to get are on solo home runs, which might not do it for them. Wally Joyner is going to hit a single between second and first, and he's going to be on board with Fletcher as the batter. And Fletcher is going to hit a double. Fletcher, the weak-hitting Fletcher, is going to take um, uh, Fernandez to the wall. I'm going to throw for the lead runner and try to get him. We don't. So they... The California cuts the lead to within one. Boone is going to line out to Ventura, though. And that brings up Disarcina. We have a one-run lead with a man at second. And that's going to be a ground out to shortstop. So we're going to the bottom of the seventh. We could use some runs now because we only have a 4-3 lead. And uh, they're going to stick with Finley here in the seventh with Ozzie Guillen. I mean, why not? He's been pretty good lately of the last few innings. Guillen is going to walk, though. Reigns, let's see if Reigns can get on. That's going to be a ground ball to short. And that is going to be a double play. And Lance Johnson is up with two down. And he is going to line out. So I am going to, against my better judgment here, I am going to take um, Alex Fernandez out of the game. And we are going to bring in, uh, let's see, who are we going to bring in? I'm going to bring in, yeah, I'm going to bring in Bummer. We're going to bring in Bummer. He's been great this year. And, of course, as you know, Bummer is a current-day relief pitcher in Major League Baseball who did pitch for the White Sox, and that's why he's on this White Sox squad, and he allows a single to Chad Curtis, their leadoff hitter. Spike Owen is the second hitter. He's going to hit the ball out to Guillen, though. Hopefully Guillen can turn the DP here. Not in time, no. But they do get the lead runner, and Mike Trout is the batter. And they're going to put in a pinch runner. It's going to be uh, Reynolds. 
we're going to throw for him and we don't get him. So Trout is the batter and he's going to walk. So that really kind of was not very fruitful for them. That's going to be a fly ball to left or to right by Salmon. So there's two down. Uh, we're asking Bummer to just get out of this. And uh, he's going to hit the ball out to Cora. Now Cora is not that. No, he. Ah. They tied the game because Cora couldn't get to the ball. And that's going to be a line out to third by Joyner. So we are now we're the, whole team, we're the home team, so we have a slight advantage. They still have Finley out there, and Cora is going to walk. That's the first time Cora has been aboard this game, but it's good to see with Frank Thomas up because now at bats are crucial. That's going to be a fly ball out to Trout, although you have to believe Trout's going to make the play, and he does. One down, and Ventura is the batter, and Ventura's going to walk. So we got two guys on. With only one out here. Let's see if they go to the bullpen. After this walk. They are not going to. Belton Bill Melton is going to hit a single. Cora, you got to believe Cora can score on that. I am going to send him. I am going to send the tray. No, I'm not going to send the trailing runner. So we do score a run there. And Fisk is up. And we have the lead. And now they bring in Joe Grahay. It's probably pronounced Gray, but I just like to say Grahay because of the H. So runners move up on a wild pitch, and Fisk is the batter. And Fisk is going to hit a single. I don't think that's going to score Melton. Well, no. it. Well, yeah, it, it might. And it did. So now we've opened up a nice lead. Darren Jackson is the batter, and now I feel... I don't feel as bad about bringing Bummer in and relieving Alex Fernandez. Now we got two runners on and one out, and Gian up, and Gian's going to hit a single. We're just uh, we're now we're just a hit machine. I'm going to hold the runners though, so we're going to have the bases loaded with Rock up, and Grahe is probably out of the game. He is, and Russ Springer comes in to pitch for them. That's going to be a ground ball double play though. So uh, we're going to take Bummer out. I'm going to go back to the bullpen, and we're going to bring in Dennis Cook. Dennis Cook not having the greatest of years, but we do have a three-run lead here in the ninth inning. And Fletcher, they let Fletcher hit, and he strikes out. That brings up Booney. They're going to pinch hit, and Jim Edmonds. Jim, you, you know you've got depth when Jim Edmonds doesn't start for you. And he's out, and Disarcina is the batter, and he is going to be out. So Dennis Cook comes in, he pitches great, and uh, we, we seal another victory. And uh, you can look at the, the box score right here. Finley went seven and a third and allowed seven earned runs before they took him out. Uh, but Fernandez went seven and allowed three earned runs. Bummer pitched an inning, gave up a run. And then Cook came in for the save. So there you go. We uh, we go to 77 and 75, and the Angels drop to 69 and 82. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.